Hey, this is James with Not Solar Electric, and today I want to talk about the Hoy Miles microinverters, specifically the HMS product line, and we're so excited to offer these. These microinverters come in a variety of different outputs. We have a single module version, a double module version, a quad module version. So let's look at this one first. This is a single module, it's a 450 watt output, okay? Single module, single MPPT, connects to that. You got 450 watts of max output from this one unit. Here, this is a double module. So we got two MPPTs for two modules thousand watt output max off this unit okay so you can hook up 500 plus watt solar panels to the inputs here you got a thousand watts output peak from this unit okay this one here this is the macro micro inverter this is a, a 2000 watt quad input so it's got four individual mppts you can handle four solar modules 2000 watts max output all of the HMS product line has a 65 volt open circuit maximum input, okay? And 15 amps. Uh, the, they can handle up to 15 amps at 65 volts max open circuit voltage. Now what's really cool about these is if, for example, you wanna do a big system, 2000 watts is a really cost effective inverter here, uh, but maybe you don't need 2000 watts from each one, you're only putting like 400 watt panels on them, no big deal. Just go in, software limit the output of these to whatever the max output is for your array, and you've got perfectly sized microinverter for your project without that clipping nonsense, just a full on output from this unit. That's what the customer is going to want. They're going to want a unit that can deliver the power that you promised them. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about how these wire up. So here we have the trunk cables. Now I've got them separated out. We've got a unit here. This is a two meter trunk cable. This is a four meter trunk cable. Basically the way these work is they come in a big long coil. We have them all connected together. You can open these things up using this adapter here and you can basically unhook the cable that comes in this end and you basically put this termination end in there. So if this is the end of line, you don't have to cut things and make splices. You go into the terminal block inside here, you undo it, you loosen off the strain relief, you put the cap in the end, you tighten it all down, and you have a nice clean end, okay? The modules here, they just plug right into this connector here. So they just plug right in. and. Now you've got 2000 watts on 10 gauge wire. This is a 10 gauge wire. It's a single phase. So there's just a L1, L2 connection in a ground. You got 10 gauge wire coming off this trunk cable down to your junction box, down to your load center. And it's really easy, okay? You can disconnect, you got disconnect tools. You got tools for opening up the junction box here. And let's just say you wanna make your own trunk cable. You can buy just the connectors, you can get some SO wire and you basically can make up your own lengths however much you want. If you're running one module off over there and coming in, or one group of modules, four, two modules or whatever, off way over there and you need to make your own custom length or whatnot, you can do that, it's pretty easy. The trunk cables, the inverters, it all just really is, it connects together You've got your MC4 connectors on the ends. And what's really cool about these microinverters specifically is they don't use that PL, the power line communications that, you know, corrupted communications that gets, you know, the interference from that. These use a sub G wireless communication to the DTU. So there's a, a about a 900 megahertz uh, communication coming from these microinverters to the DTU. The DTU can pick these things up from pretty far away. It's really impressive. I have my DTU at my house on the complete opposite side of the house to my microinverters. No issue with connectivity whatsoever. And they just pop up. When you put them into the DTU using um, the serial number, it immediately finds them and you immediately connect to them. It's really easy to set up. And then the DTU just connects to your Wi-Fi 
And if you want, you can integrate a meter in with that so you can do your grid monitoring, your production monitoring. For example, at my house, I, uh, I set up my system for zero export. So I don't want to send any power to the utility grid. So I use the meter to make sure that my system is not exporting power to the grid. My system is pushing power all around my house, is pushing power into my ESS system. Once everything's full and all my loads are satisfied, these inverters and this meter basically will reduce their output to just feed power to the loads and not push back to the grid. So you can use this meter to monitor your energy production. Very cool system. Now let's go look at the remote monitoring platform from Hoy Miles that allows you to see the individual module performance and the, the whole array's performance and, and monitor your energy production. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the remote monitoring capabilities of the Hoy Miles product line using the S Miles cloud software or the browser interface. So here we've got a bunch of different sites. We're gonna take a look specifically at, at mine, uh, at my house. So I have these inverters on my house. And what we can look at currently is a live overview of what's going on with the site, my current house loads, because I have a meter on my house. I have my system set up for zero export, so I'm specifically using this meter, and it can monitor the house loads. And so we're seeing the house loads here, we're seeing our solar production. Today is kind of cloudy, so let's go back and look at it. maybe a day that has better production. So we can go through here, and we can select different days, going back, so on and so forth, and we can look at specifically our peak production, our energy throughput through that day, through the week, through the month. There's all sorts of information here that one can see with relate, as it relates to the microinverters that are integrated, okay? So even more important is we can go in and actually look at the actual modules themselves. So um, if we come into layout, for example, I can go in and see individually how each panel is performing. So let's go to yesterday because today's sun is pretty bad. And we can look, oh look, every single one of my panels are performing pretty equally to one another. I don't think that I have any issues with my solar panels. Perfect, right? So if you ever had any problems with production or if you had any issues with maybe it seemed like maybe a couple of your panels weren't working or whatever, you can actually come right in here and look at the performance for each of your individual modules and you know go through the day. We can even kind of simulate shading. Right now my panels are pretty um, unshaded, but maybe earlier in the year they had some shade that came across. We can actually look and see how that shading progresses across the panels. And basically what happens when you go and you create your plan, you set it up inside the S Miles Cloud and you use your DTU and you set up your plant, you go in, you can lay out the panels as they're arranged on the roof with the microinverters. And as like shading comes across your roof and stuff like that, you can actually see that on the individual module. So it's a really cool platform and allows you to monitor a bunch of different sites. Like these are a bunch of my clients here um, that have their sites set up and you can go in and if you're an installer, you know, you can keep track of all these sites. You can share them with the homeowner. The homeowner can see all that information, but if the homeowner ever has any questions or anything, you can easily, without rolling a truck, go look into their system and, and see what's going on. You can manipulate settings and adjust grid standards. You can set up for zero export and set in meters. It is all very intuitive. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our team. You know, if you purchase the equipment from us, we, you know, can you can share the site with us, and we can look at it and say, okay, yeah, we can, you know, make this improvement or that improvement or help, you know, restructure the system layout or whatever is needed. So it's a very cool platform, and it provides a lot of information and can help you quantify your production and, you know, all the relevant information that one would need for grid tie integration. All right, so that was the Hoy Miles uh, microinverter product line. Uh, we are really excited to be able to offer these. We have them in stock, readily available, and our team are 
up on exactly what's needed to make this system work for you. So if you have any questions, you need help designing a system, uh, we have a bunch of kits available that help you kind of formulate what's needed for just a general system. But if you do need some help with these, give our team a call, talk to our engineers. They're there to help you out. They're there to put the system together for you. They can make the right module recommendations, the racking recommendations, make sure you have all the right trunk cables and connectors and tools and the meter and all the relevant inf the equipment for your project. They will help you with that. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, give us a comment. Visit our learning center, chat with us on our website, give us a call, shoot us an email. We are here plugging you into solar.